Hi everyone. This class is uh, second uh, part of the WebGL texture. So we will learn the, how to use texture in WebGL. So and I added some some reference site that that is the the Mozilla developer site for WebGL. There are so many wonderful materials and manuals in in this the developer site so please report it that site it will be very helpful okay in first do we need to 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 how to use texture in webgl in pipeline first we we already sent vertex attribute vertex buffer vertex information to vertex object buffer vertex buffer in gpu so we create vertex object and then we send vertex data to vertex object. Then the vertex data stored in in vertex buffer object. Okay, it's same as texture is the same as vertex buffer object. We we create a texture object and then we send text image or texture data to texture object. It is stored in the RAM, CPU memory, and then it will be sent to, to GPU memory, okay? And then, and then, the texture object, the uh, GPU can have multiple texture object. At, at minimum, I think uh, the eight, the texture unit can be stored in one GPU, so, and then, normally, we, if we use just one texture, the te texture unit to zero will be used. And then, and we need to calculate, calculate, and then calculate the the texture coordinate. To, for example, in triangle, in triangle, there is a, some kind of a vertex. Then. We need, we should, we should calculate the UV, UV coordinate of this vertex. How can you do it? So it is, it is, maybe it is possible to resend the UV coordinate from when you define the vertex attribute as one of the vertex attribute. You can send, you can send the UV coordinate to vertex shader then, then if you, we can send it to pragmatic shade by varying, okay, varying. So, then pragmatic shader can use as input of uh, parameter of vertex. In pragmatic sh shader, it, it, it will be pragmatic. The vertex, uh, vertex of pragmatic it has some UV coordinate with bearing or we can calculate with we can ca calculate with but other vertex attribute for example XY coordinate then you can calculate the UV coordinate then it will be then it will be sent with bearing it will be sent the coordinate UV coordinate and then we set the there are so many uh, the multiple uh, texture unit we can choose the texture unit so by uniform value so if we just we always use zero we don't send it but if multiple texture we we need to choose it then we need to send one zero one two something as a uniform value then pretty much shader okay so as a uniform value the, the texture unit is zero is used and then the texture coordinate will be Send it by vertex shader coordinate. It will be back to the x y coordinate or back three for cube texture. Then two D in case of two D texture, the back two, the coordinate came from or calculated from vertex shader. Then with the text two D coordinate, they calculate the texture coordinate texture coordinate, it will be changed into TX, TY. It does not, okay, think about it. 
if we draw with some yellow vertex and and green vertex and and blue vertex then it will be automatically interpolated the yellow from yellow to blue like this okay so so it means that the color will be interpolated okay interpolated but the texture coordinate with this value the texture pixel color does not pixel color of that fragment vortex calculate is not calculated they calculate only the vortex coordinate so in triangle they will calculate the tx i will say vertex one two three then tx one tx two ty 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 uh, one sorry and they will calculate tx two and ty two and then tx3 and ty3 will be calculated and this tx ty tx ty value will be calculated and interpolated in here and then each pixel go to texture then if texture has some kind of image then this texture will be will go to here this texture will go to here this texture will go to here so each pixel has different pixel of image they can get okay so that's the process of texture mapping in webgl okay then to the texture yeah there are two kind of texture in webgl the one is to the texture second thing is cube map cube map and 2d texture so in case of 2d texture just one image it is just one image then the origin is here 0 comma 0 and the end point is here 1 comma 1 the, 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 the actual pixel dimension the how many pixels in this texture it does not matter we just we just use the normalized coordinate okay and then this texture can have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five kind of data. Okay. So one is RGB. Second thing is RGBA luminance. Okay. It, it means that grayscale. And then luminance and alpha, the transparency and opacity, or opacity and luminance, and opacity only alpha okay so it will be one byte maybe or it can be a protein point one day the one one protein point, point value or so it, it will be pair of two two component it will have one component rgb have four component rgb has three component of course coordinate so we say that the, the horizontal direction is s direction or u direction and vertical direction is t direction or v direction okay in the pixel in this data can be can be web image 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 file like a jpg file or the png file if image can be readable by web browser then it, we can use that image to as a texture or we can have we can set the texture with the data okay for example you in unsigned integer eight array so in c language it will be uk you unsigned character so that kind of data we can directly give that data directly okay and second kind of uh, texture is cube map QMAP is uh, the mapping is defined by direction of some vertex. For example, if there is a, some kind of a vertex in here, then we can set the three-dimensional vector, str, 
coordinate. Then, with STR coordinate, we can define the direction, which, which direction is touching that six, six images. In QMAP, we define six individual 2D text phase with this STR vector direction. Then we can, we can set which, which part is touching by this direction. This, we, we say that so some, this face is negative x, then positive x, uh, positive y, negative y. Uh, this front face is negative, ah, okay, positive z. This back face is negative z, okay? And then we can automatically, the, the, with this direction, Automatically, they div they set at the which pixel can be used for for texture. So this direction is still not have to normalized. So it, so, but it it should it must not zero comma zero comma zero. So there that is not a direction. So it, they, it cannot define the direction of which face is touching. So not 0, 0, 0. so if with other value, that's okay. So the, it, it, it does not have to, to, to be normalized, okay? So, and then, okay, okay. First, we need to create the texture object. Texture is object, okay? It is very similar to the vertex bubble object. So, in it is exactly the same as vertex bubble object. The original OpenGL ES command was gen bubble, but it changed into create. create. So, like a bubble, vertex bubble object, in case of texture, the object create texture, the, the gen texture is removed from WebGL command. And then WebGL only used the create texture, then return value is object. Then if we, the, we you, the, finish that you, using that texture, then we can delete the texture. The texture is image, so it, it, it will take some memory space. It needs memory space. If we draw something with, with texture, and then it does not use anymore, then it should be deleted for, for resource management. But, but the, we just use the, the small number of texture and small size of texture, then you, we don't have to remove it. So it is because delete texture and create texture, delete and texture, it takes a time, time to initialize it, then if too much the initialize and delete, it mean makes a low performance. So we don't. Ha if we have big memory of a texture, and we and we use the limited number of texture, then we don't have to delete it. Okay, it is trade off between memory space and performance. Okay, and then and then we need to bind it. So bind means that I will use it in GPU. Then target, we should select a target. So target is two kind of thing: is GL texture 2D or GL texture cube map. In vertex buffer object, there is a two target of buffer text buffer object. One is yeah arrays. Second thing is yeah elements. So can you remember that? Okay. And in texture, there are two kinds of texture, 2D or cube map, okay? Then we set the texture. That, that, that it, it is number, of, it is in GL, uh, GLES2, it is GLUnit, but in, in WebGL, it is kind of the texture object, of course. Then to load image, load image to texture, then we use text image 2D, then target, target maybe 2D or cube map, and level, and level, 
level means that level over t ten, so so default is zero. Then you know internal format. Internal format can be RGB, RGBA, luminant, luminant alpha, alpha, that kind of thing. And then width, height, and border size. So pixel size of width, height, and border. And then we should uh, select the format of format of the, the data. So format can be RGB, RGBA, that kind of thing. Okay. So it is it can, it can be different. So the automatically the changing is occurred. Okay. Let's make the 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 WebGL code for text mapping. In there is no change to, from the previous. Uh, code I will change it. I already changed it so in initialize the buffer after initializing the buffer then first line I create texture with GL create texture and then I bind the texture with GL texture 2d command okay and I made some 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 um, beta texture data that is there is one by one lead pixel the 255 0 0 and alpha is 255 it is perfectly opaque color then I send GL text texture image 2d target is texture 2d Zero is a level of detail. There's a default value sh should be zero. And then I will set RGBA, the width, height, and border size. And the format is RGBA. Data is GL unsigned byte. And then data is installed in the text data in here. Okay, in here. So, and then. There is some kind of a parameter value, GL text parameter i and GL text parameter i. Now that is, I set it, it with it with some default, okay? And then we should change some some vertex shader and fragment shader. In vertex shader, I made uh, some varying variable is back to two text coordinate. Text coordinate is my vertex plus 0 0.5. It is because my cube has xy coordinate is minus 0 0.5 from from minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. So if I add 0 0.5, then it will be changed into from 0 to 1.0. So text coordinate will use the, the vertex coordinate. And then in fragment shader, in fragment shader, I add the color is sanded as bearing, the the text coordinate is sanding, and then I add texture to the the operation in in shading function. So sampler two D, sampler two D is uniform sampler two D. Actually, it, I did not change it because the default value is zero. And I just only use G one texture co texture, so the always if it is always zero, then I don't want we don't have to change it. And texture code will be used. Then, then let's see the result. I write it, and then yes, yes, it changed into lead. Okay, wow. Okay, I will change it in, I will change it, mix it. 0 0.5 original color and I will add 0 0.5 texture. Then 50% 50% mix will be occurred. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it is, it is because lead color, 0 0.5 lead color is added. Then the, it goes to slightly changing the color. It is okay. It works well. Texture is working 
Wow. Cool. Okay. So, let's try to use the another example. Okay, I will make more, more, the, the, the more good results. So, I will make texture with 2x2 two two matrix, for example. At not 2x2 not two two matrix, it is 2x2 two two color. Then, second pixel is two, 200, 0, 250, 0, 250, green. And third color is uh, blue. Then, 0, 0, 250, 250. And then, last color is yellow, 250, 250, 0, 250. Then, I will change it into, okay, with the height is 2 by 2 by 2. I changed it. Okay, sorry. Right, and then reload it. Oops, it is smart. It looks smart, strange. It became some darken. Okay, let's check the color. So to, to, to check color, uh, we should back to to original. Original is zero, and then I will. Fully use the text color, then reload it. Oops! It means that I changed the two by two, two by two image, but it does not work. Okay, so be careful. So it, sometimes it it do you should set the the, the texture parameter back carefully. If you don't do that, so it will make somewhat mm, different the result. So, the, the, the why it does not appear? It is because the texture parameter, the, the texture min filter, I will explain later. If it is default value, value is nearest, min map nearest. So that is default value. So, if we change it into into linear, then then picture is appeared. Oh, somewhat strange, but it looks very strange, but it appeared. So we made the the, the texture with unsigned character array, but think about it. It, it is not. <laughs> Easy to make texture we want with the texture array. So, in case we want to draw some, we want to use texture with image or something. So we need another way. So, same command, same text, text image two D with object, then. Then it is different, okay? So, for example, in case of that is object, in case of it is object, the parameter is object, then the side, the width, height, and the and border information is this, the border parameter is removed, and then, and then, the, we can use pixel of type of image data, image data, and or we can create image data or we can use HTML image element or we can use HTML canvas element or we can use the HTML video element. It means that we can use the video as a texture. Okay, I'll show you later. Then let's go to the code to, to use image. Uh, I already programmed the image object and, and tested. 
So I will remove the previous uh, bind texture and then <coughs> make it comment. <coughs> and then oh yeah, I want comment to code. We can create image object in WebGL and then <coughs> we can set the image of source source is HILE dot one hundred twenty eight dot PNG. In my same folder of, of working directory there is an image file HIL under one hundred twenty eight. Image is okay, HIL is me and then image is like this. Oh it is this wonderful face. Okay? And then 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 image at event listener is load. It means that the it is asynchronous asynchronously loading the image. So he, he, the, he, it means that if the loading is finished, then this function will be occurred. Okay? Yeah. It is the same function in bind texture and text image 2D with with image object. So, image will be sent to texture. It means that image will be sent to GPU from CPU memory. And then, GL generate minmap is, I will explain later. Minmap, it actually now we don't need the minmap at all, but, and then, <coughs> let's test it. Okay, write and reload it. Nope, nope, nope. It does not appear. Okay, so it is because it is because the the even though there is a, some source file, the image source file, but using local file is not allowed in the, in Chrome browser. If we use the if we use the Internet Explorer in in case of Internet Explorer, then I will, I will drop the index.html in here. Then they ask something. Internet Explorer blocked some some ActiveX content or something. So do you want? To, where is it? Where is it? Okay. Do you want to permit it? That is, is that was question. So I will permit it. Then. It does not appear. And then I will turn on the, the generate min map. Then, then, the Internet Explorer, yes, appeared. Okay, to animation. Oh, yeah. So my face is rotating. Okay. In Chrome browser, and Opera browser, and Firefox browser, and Edge browser cannot support this thing. So I think that I explained that you should install the local web server. Local web server. Then then it is not it is possible to use it as the your PC as as a those web server, HTTP server. So I installed that I, I use Mongoose web server pre version 2.5. If I execute it it changed it into to my IP address, local IP address, and then with that number, then it is it have yeah, it works. No, my face is appeared. Okay, good, wonderful. Can you see that? Yes, it is wonderful result. If we don't generate minimap, then it does not appear. So we we should learn minimap. So minimap is the we will maintain the if the the, the original image has two hundred fifty six by two hundred sixty resolution, then in in level of detail, L, sorry, L O T is level of detail level of detail zero, then we use it, 
and then is uh, the half size. No, no, is the x direction, y direction, half size is one of fourth. The size is we we automatically generate the level of detail one and level of detail two, level of detail three, like this. So also you can define the level of detail with the the geometric data because you don't have to use it use the, the detailed geometric data in case of the, the, the object is far from camera. So we can use the level of detail in, in geometry, LD geometry, of course, model, LD can be used. And in case of texture, we need to use the level of detail with automatically generation. So, so automatic generation, the, the minmap command is so generate minmap with target. Target is one of them, the 2D texture or cube map. Okay. So if it is cube map, so we set cube map, and if it's 2D image, 2D texture, then you can set 2D texture. Okay. Then we need to set the, the parameter of parameter of each uh, each the texture object okay so how can you set it gl text parameter i i means integer and then v means vector vector means array so if we use the gl text parameter i then you can set the we need, first parameter is target target is 2d or cube map and then parameter name we should do that. The, there are four parameters. Texture, there are texture magnify filter. In case of we should to magnify the image, then what we, we will use? The, we can have two choices, nearest or linear. Okay? And second thing is, in case of we, we shrink the image, in that case, what will be used? The nearest or linear? So if we set the linear, then some kind of anti-aliasing effect will be occurred. Okay? So we see that we define the width some two color, two by two texture, then it generates some gradation result. So if we set it into nearest, then it will be automatically it will be very sharp edge will be appeared, okay? And then I will explain it and I will show you the, the, the result in with code. And then if in case there are so another things, the nearest setting vari variable in mini, mini, mi, the minify the filter is, another thing is nearest minmap linear, nearest linear minmap nearest or linear minmap linear in that means that it is it is it is because the in case of a minmap is generated it will be the in between minmap it will be linearly interpolate or so just use the nearest one okay so minmap nearest or minmap linear okay okay so it means that pixel is the spatially nearest minmap in between nearest nearest or minmap between near, near the minmap is nearest linear linear is the, so in pixel by pixel we use linear interpolate and then minmap between minmap, the we use the linear interplate. Okay, so it will be very good quality. Default is, default is this one. So, if default is this one, so if we do not generate minmap, then the 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 drawing will be disappeared. In some case, in some case, okay. So be careful. So. I'll show you in code. And then there is a texture wrapping parameters. 
texture wrap as the horizontal direction, texture wrap uh, vertical direction as R. So there is uh, some kind of things. Repeat. Repeat is like this. And then the clamped edge is like this. It is the edge color is repeated. Edge color is repeated. And then in this area, the, the corner color will be copied to here. That is clamp. And then mirrored repeat is like this. That this cat is mirrored and then mirrored and, and then vertically mirrored, vertically mirrored. Okay. GL mirrored repeat. And then GL clamped border is like this. So we will set the the we can set border color and then we will set with border then there's just drawing once okay okay and simple example is it is same as we can send send some some vertex coordinate and then vertex coordinate to pregnant shade pregnant shade just use with text 2d so sample coordinate to test the various uh, the parameter, so I changed it back to to, to two by two pixel texture and then test it, okay, and then yeah, this result is appeared, okay. Minify fil filter and magnify filter with nearest, okay. I changed it nearest. It is because the we 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 going in we to, to zoom in this cube. So I think magnify uh, magnify filter does not work, but mini minify the filter will work. But I will I changed it both. Okay, then the result is like this. Okay, can you see that? Yes. In for example, in this point, what is where what is nearest? pixel uh, this one so in this point the nearest point is here so the those the crisp crispy the sharp rectangle is appeared okay and the problem is this side does not have four pixel but is in oh there is uh, some kind of fightings uh, it is because and uh, some yeah chip fighting or something so it's very funny Okay, there, there are some some kind of a problem is occurred in this issue. Okay, okay. So there is has some problem. It is because some numerical error. So uh, we found find that issue. Okay. So then we can change it into wrapping function. Wrapping function is not a repeat. Then we can change it with other things other things for example mirroring or clamping or something we want to change it but the problem is the we cannot make that kind of the, the the mirroring and repeat is occurred so then we will change the the coordinate of vertex so first thing is i will add some I will add some some more at the, the vertex attribute. It is UV coordinate. Okay, in, in that case, the, the I will use the UV coordinate with okay zero comma zero and zero comma zero, and then. Okay, I changed the whole vertex data, and then, and then we should change the the, the vertex uh, attributes. For example, in 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 fragment shader and vertex shader, we need to add more attribute. For example, okay, there is uh, the my color, and then I will add my. UV, okay. I will set it 
with my UV, and then my UV must be set. Then, then I will change it with texture coordinate with my my UV. Okay. Then it copied. Then primary shader. We don't have to change the primary shader, and then. Okay, there is on, we need we need one more attribute. Then I will add one more my UV. So there is one more vertex attribute my UV, and then and then gel bind it vertex shader, and then and then okay, to animation, and then. Let's check the code. For V test matrix attribute find buffer text buffer yes yeah we need to use okay I don't need this code so we also same code is needed. Then another thing is attribute two is and there is a two is two component float false it it is not twenty eight because we add we add two more things then the, we should add uh, eight to, so it will be thirty six thirty six thirty six and then it will be we mo we we should add uh, okay. then twenty eight okay so okay then four four by two twenty four is it correct let's check the drawing result okay they load it. Ah, uh, it's error. So let's check the what is error. There's a 73. 73. Okay, it is. There is no comma. And then let's check the result. Load it. Okay. My undefined. My? What, what is my? I think there is some kind of error in shader. So. Is that okay? Load it. Ah, uh, the uh, window mismatch. Okay. Check that my UV is vector two. Okay. Load it. Okay, it works well. Rotate it, and all side the drawing is. Quite good, but it's, I I had some mistake in did that, so that's okay. So I think it's a somewhat somewhat numerical problem. So there is a, some kind of gaps. So it is also some some kind of a numerical problem. Okay. So if I change it, okay, I show some numerical problem. Okay. So there is a, some kind of garbages in some black garbages. So to remove that thing, we need to change it. The parameters with with uh, how can I set it? Where is texture parameters? I cannot find it. Yeah, there is. In case of wrapping, so do not repeat. And then we will change it into into clamping clamp to edge. Okay, clamp to edge. Then clamp to edge is that so we repeated the last pixel of image. Then 
please check the result. I will reload it. Then rotate it. Then it you can see that some somewhat slightly better quality than previous result. Okay, so. Just we used nearest and then we clamped it. And then, okay, let's check the so the some kind of a repeat, some textual wrapping functions to for so UV direction. So in that case, we need to change some code. For example, if if we change it into for example, in fragment shader, fragment shader, with, if we send some, in that case, UV divide into 3.0, then let's see the result. Okay, so we load it. All that. Why? It is because it is divided into three, then the, the, the lower left corner of the image is used. So I will change it, multiply with three, then load it. Yes, it, it is three times bigger, but the edge color is repeated, so I think that it, so edge color is repeated, so the edge color is copied to do that. So I will change the parameters. For example, in clamp to edge, I will change it to clamp to edge into lipid. Lipid. Then we can get this result. Okay, lipid. Something. I'm, 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 please, please change it into in your the, the the homework, okay? And then I can change it into the mirror repeat. Okay, insert mirror repeat. Mirror repeat. Then. Load it. Uh oh. Text initialize buffer and text initialize. Yeah. Mirror. Okay. Mir not mirror. Not mirrored. Repeat. Mirrored. Yes. Right. And then load it. Okay. So not strange. Yeah. So it is because mirrored and yeah. So it looks like this. Okay, and then final thing is that okay, clamp to edge, repeat. So clamp to border. Okay, in that case, in in the mirror to repeat and clamp to edge, the G repeat is possible, and then the the clamp to the clamp to border is not working. So. And we can change it, it ne not real nearest in in linear. Then okay, reload it. Then it looks like some kind of a blurred image. Okay, so it is because of linear bilinear interpolation is occurred in each pixel. So texture is so linearly interpolated. Okay, so we see that the combination of a parameter of texture parameters of uh, of uh, some magnif magnify filter, minify filter, and the min map uh, and wrapping uh, extraction or wrapping all direction, then we can see the the result. Okay. 
Oh yeah. I also find some problem in text coordinate. Yeah, it should be zero one point zero. So, okay, let's see the result. Okay, yeah, the, it was backside. Yeah, it was well. Okay, let's go to the the class. Then, in the the fragment shader, we use the text texture 2d function for sampler and then sampler choose the, the the texture unit and then coordinate with that coordinate we pick that the the, the UV coordinate of a texture then the, we can use the, the the bias function for the controlling level of detail and in case of a cube mapping we can use we can use texture cube and then in that case, uh, the sampler, to, oh, it is not sampler two D. It's sampler cube, and and the the vector is three, three D. Yeah, it should be S T R three component is needed to 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 vector coordinate, and then we can control bias by uh, level of detail with bias value. There are so many, uh, so many. Uh, some texture the functions for, for example in in I I show I'll show you some reference card. So there are texture lookup functions in texture 2D, LOD, LOD. So we can set LOD and then there are some various kind of things we can define it and we can use it. So more than twelve functions. So please check the what where what kind of the textual the local function is exist in WebGL API. Please. In case of cube texture, we need six separate textures. So, in we we need to create a texture and then bind the texture with the cube map, and then we add six image or six data into cube map positive x, negative x, positive y, negative y positive chat, negative chat, and then we can set some texture parameters and then we can use it. So, so when we are using in uh, in frame and shade, we use the, the text cube, the, the vector, vector 3 coordinate is direction of vertex. So it can be calculated with vertex, um, vertex the, the coordinate or we can set it with uh, the additional attribute or we can set it with some so much with the vertex coordinate. We can calculate it with vertex coordinate. Okay, and then there is some very strange thing. Is just a complex, complex texture. We can so, but it is not easy to to use a complex texture in WebGL. So I will skip it. So, so if you are interested in compressed texture, please study WebGL too. Then it will be helpful. Okay, compressed texture means that we can compress like a JPEG or MPEG. So we can compress with very small size. Then we can load it very so compressed file. Then we can save loading time and save memory for texture. Then sometimes it's much more high performance than not compressed data. So if, if it is possible to use it, use compressed texture, you should use it, okay? You must use it. So there is no loss, okay? So there are some other commands. For example, we can check the what is active texture. We can query it and we can copy texture image 2D and we can copy the partial image of a texture, we can copy into another the texture, and then, then we can get texture parameter, and then we can also check the object type is texture, then the return value will be true or false. And then texture parameter F, and we can set the, the wrapping and the, 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 the minify and magnify parameters. And then we can also use the, the we can set some some sub image data with with the pixel we can set some partial the image of of texture with data okay 
and optional. It is the, in OpenGL is 2.0. The the 3D detection is is in optional. So as an extension, so we can use the 3D texture with this shape. So I already explained that the 3D texture, and we can use this kind of thing, and we can use this kind. Of the, the rendering is possible in WebGL, uh, in WebGL 2 or Web. OpenGL ES 2.0 with extension. Okay, so so if you are interested in this 3D texture, please study WebGL 2. Okay, this is I I finished the the, the lecture about the texture. Okay, so there is a, some kind of special the texture the the bump mapping and displace mapping that will be explained after. The shading is explained. Okay. Okay, have a nice day. Bye.